As scientists around the world race to develop a COVID-19 vaccine, there's also a scramble to make the millions of vials needed to deliver it. CBS's Weijia Zhang takes us inside an Alabama factory that is going all out to meet a vital need, part of our series, Racing to a Cure. SIO2 Material Science in Auburn, Alabama gave CBS News an exclusive look at how it's tackling a formidable task. Making enough vials for hundreds of millions of doses of a coronavirus vaccine by the end of the year. I don't want to exaggerate, but that's basically what you're telling us to do. Save the world and do it in three months. It's part of the government's giant gamble, Operation Warp Speed, to mass produce the most promising vaccine candidates before they're even approved. We will actually procure and be ready to buy uh, much more than just 300 million doses uh, because not every vaccine will make it. Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar. Are you worried that you're overpromising too much too soon? Well, we're not making promises, we're setting goals. Fast-tracking doses also means ramping up supplies like syringes, needles, and glass vials. The administration has shelled out $5.6 billion so far in contracts with more than a dozen companies. Some, like Corning, have a long history making vaccine vials. Others, like SIO2, have never mass-produced them. Are there potential hiccups that we don't even know about yet? You want to speed this up as, as fast as possible that it's absolutely a daunting task. Along the way, there will definitely be hiccups. Hiccups that could lead to catastrophe, like production line crashes and raw material shortages. And there's fierce global competition for the supplies, which are already needed for other drugs. Prashant Yadav is a Harvard Medical School supply chain expert. We may end up having a vaccine that is effective and safe, but not have all the ingredients and auxiliary inputs that we need to administer it. I understand ramping up production lines, but how do you procure more raw materials? Already done. So we've taken care of that for the U.S. production. Um, but where, the, where is it coming from? We have contracted with manufacturers here in the United States. But contracts don't mean goods in hand. So there is always a a risk that the quantity that you contract for is not the quantity you get. The fastest vaccine for the mumps was developed in four years. The government compares this effort to putting a man on the moon. What seemed impossible made history. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Washington.